Hey everyone, it's the one and only Hobo, Mr. Pally himself. We're readdressing the issue once again. I feel so upset that I have to bring this up one more time. But, the newest patch, patch fucking whatever it is, has released for all three consoles, and there is still no custom game Nuketown. Instead, what they've done is they've moved hardcore Nuketown into being a thing, and they've introduced all these other little quick fixes and, and features and all this sort of shit. Unnecessary, uncalled for, just give me fucking local game Nuketown. It's not hard. So, I'm gonna run up patch notes, and we're gonna have a quick geese at these fucking things. So, hardcore Nuketown is added to featured category. Cool. Uh, th that's great. I I'm, I'm, I'm happy that I can play hardcore Nuketown now. Unfortunately, it's not online. Now, secondly, you've added Seaside Sunset and Firing Range Night to all playlists for multiplayer only. Not local custom games, just online multiplayer. So once again, you're just delivering to a small percentage of the gaming community. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to digress a little bit here. I used to work at EB Games, which is, you know, like a GameStop or, or some sort of game company retailer type fucking thing, right? The amount of customers that would come in and say, hey, can this console be played offline because I don't have the internet is actually ridiculous. Now, I don't live in like the richest area, but I can imagine, you know, not everyone can afford internet. Fuck, I can barely afford internet. And, you know, why would you only bring out a game that caters to half of your fucking fan base? Not even half. And then you, 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 you rub salt into the wound by adding extra features to currently existing maps like day and night cycles now and all this sort of shit now i've got to i've got to mention i played those game modes i didn't notice a single fucking change in in whether it was day or night and i looked at the fucking sun it was in the original fucking spot ridiculous treyarch so yeah just wanted to bring that to your attention how fucking bad this is this is becoming a joke, and uh, yeah. On the plus side though, let, let's end this video on a positive. I want to give a big shout out, a big thank you to the, as it sits from today, the 101 people that checked my last uh, No Nuketown video. That broke a YouTube goal for me. I'm super stoked about it. For those that don't know what stoked means, it's basically super thrilled, super happy. Couldn't be more thankful about it. So I'm also just gonna quickly note that I do have a Twitter account. Now, if you aren't aware of this already, the link will be down in the description below. Please go and follow me. That way you'll be up to date with when I drop videos and you'll be able to join the shenanigans that I normally post on Twitter. I generally tend to talk a lot of shit, which is generally hilarious, hopefully. Otherwise, I hate to say it as well, but please hit the subscribe button, share this with your friends. I don't want to be one of those fucking YouTubers that says the same old shit like, oh, please, let's hit 50,000 likes and, and let's hit 20,000 subscribers by the end of this video, eh? Nah, fuck that. Okay, just gonna say it, you know, once every now and then, just for lols. But anyway, thank you for checking the video out. Thank you for your support. Thank you for the 101 views on the other video. Let's boycott the shit out of Treyarch and make this shit change. Have a great one.